Yeah. yeah. What is good, y'all? King Chef here. Ha, ha, ha. Chef here, baby. We got you. So we got one of Pretty Boy Fredo's, um, one of the SSH X member or some shit. I don't even know if he's an SSH X member. But this kind of looks, this, this, this shit kind of looks a little, little, little sketchy going on. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to let y'all hear from the homie right here. Well, all I've been said is get into it. Before we get into it, we're not about to stop. We just going to run straight to this shit. I bet. Okay, so uh, most of you guys, uh, I don't even know where to start. Okay, so most of you guys know me from Pretty Boy Fredo's channel. Um, most of y'all know me as being an SSH, which I don't think I ever was in it from the beginning. I think it was just temporary. You yeah, heard from him? No. Y'all ask the man who still got contact? No, me and him do not talk. We don't so no longer associate with each other. Uh, first video I ever did with Fredo was the Chucky video. I went went viral. It did numbers, hit 10 million on Facebook. Um, but I'm not finna uh, just sit here and just bash this man. I don't do that. I'm a great father to his daughter. He, uh, I thought I thought I said a little bit, but, but still, I never like really spoke down on him. I just said I just said how I felt like it was messed up what he did. But uh, here with this bullying video. The video has some truth to it about the bullying, but like how he made it seem like I was getting bullied. My senior, like I was, like I was getting bullied. Like currently, when I was attending Evans High School, I was, I was not getting bullied. I, I, I did not go to him and tell him that. I didn't tell him I was getting bullied. Okay. Yes, he took the air mags back. I do not have them. He never gave them to me for real. I would have pulled them out in front of y'all right now. I thought like. I thought it was like a little reward for no, like the videos I've been doing. If y'all want to know where the Air Max at, ask Kim. I don't, I don't know where they. I don't have them. Okay, so in the video when he gave me the Air Max, you can see he he showed my address, did not blur it out. First, that's the first one that I picked up. I think I've seen that before. Because I stay in the hood. Anybody could just like them are expensive shoes. Any people don't care. They'll do anything for a little that you know, ass, that ass. But, but the next day after the day after he gave them to me, he texted me, he was like, like, yo. He was like, um I think he said he needed me to come to his house. So boom, he ordered me to his house and he was saying like he needed to put them up some put the shoes up somewhere. But I was blind to it because I was kind of on the same thing because he showed my address. I didn't really feel safe with them expensive shoes in my house. You shouldn't be so, safe, bro. So that shouldn't feel safe. Like, uh, unfortunately, not. I mean, um, I don't, I don't honestly believe he was. Sent like yeah, he shouldn't feel safe. No cap. I know I said I don't go pause and say shit. Yeah, but no cap, he shouldn't feel safe because first of all, cats in the hood they don't give a fuck. Point black period, cats in the hood don't give a fuck. So it's those, those type of shoes, cats will go ahead. Cats are ahead of a use for those type of shit. So when they see niggas with those type of shit, they oftentimes get jumped in the hood and get that shit taken from them. And then and then, and then, and then niggas bounce, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, you shouldn't feel safe because he po I seen the video where he posted on homie's address and do this shit. But that shit ain't right though, you know what I'm saying? You should've never did that. That's some jit shit right there. Let's get back to this shit. Clear from the jump. I mean, cause like when you think about it, um, I wear a size seven, seven and a half. Like if you look at the shoes in the video, they were size eight, nine, just different sizes. All of them wearing my size. Feel you see how he was? He spoke to my mom. They were having a conversation about me. He was saying, "Oh, I'm, I'm funny as hell." All his other stuff, and my mom was telling him like about my past and stuff, and like how you know I struggled with bullying in school. And, uh, yeah, like my mom was basically explaining it to him. Keep in mind, my mom, she, she was under the impression that his, uh, his intentions was true. Like, you know, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't know that he had like a, you know, a little hidden agenda behind it. You, you met my mom, bro. Like, you, you really just met, ran. Spoke to my mom and just told her all these lies, bro. Like. And it's like now it's like I kind of feel like I was made a joke of like, like I just kind of feel like 
I don't I feel dumb, but at the same time it's like it's it's mixed emotions about it. I mean but should feel betrayed, bro. I just don't mess with how he move. I don't mess with like how he just I don't mess with how he operate. So it's like I had to, you know, separate myself from ain't really have nothing to do with the other members. This was like just mainly me and me and Fred were like a it was a personal problem I had with him. What Mikey and Fredo have going on, honestly, I, I'm shocked to hear that myself, but honestly, that has nothing to do with me. I mean, his videos are, you know, fake. Them cars he be having, he be renting them. I mean, at the same time, I'm not, people think I'm mad about it. I'm really not. I really don't care. Before I met him, I mean. I got a feeling that some of these videos that he makes, they're kind of suspect. Some of these car videos, they're kind of suspect. I like to be with them like more often, more consistent, being like doing videos with them. Um, I started like to pick up on like the little shadiness he like he was at, like the little shadiness he had towards me. I kind of felt like bro was just like being fake towards me, you know, on camera. He just be acting like he my dog and stuff, but off camera, the man. The SSH when I came in third place and won 15, never gave me that. No, never got no 15,000. Um, crazy because, bro, when I first met this dude, I was like so happy. And it's like, bro, I used to watch all his videos. I used to like mess with Fredo Heavy. I used to, I always wanted to meet this dude. And it's like, now I met him, and it's like, bro, dude, do not act like I. It's way different behind that camera, bro. And them cars he be having in his videos, them be rentals. That mansion, that's, that's not really no SSH mansion. Some of y'all been texting me saying about the little SSH competition. He never was doing that for real. He was just doing that to keep y'all amped up, bro. <laughs> this man, like, this man know how to manipulate y'all and y'all y'all still just fall for the bait anyway. I've been wanting to say something, but I had a deep thinking and research. Remember DDG warned all of us at that, that time with that beef. He said he's the fakest nigga you ever met. But I mean, I said fuck with Fred videos, I ain't gonna lie for entertainment shit because it's funny it's funny how this this, this guy right here is saying this shit and at the same time when i when i was watching some of the videos i, I kind of got like funny feeling that some of these shit is it, 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 it it's 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 fixed it's it's scripted not real no 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 cap that lambo video that i seen last time i, I kind of had a feeling that that nigga was not those are not his lambos dead ass his sister come forward and expose this shit. Uh, Mikey exposed this shit. He said, when the sue Mikey, then now this hum the homie right here exposing some shit. Damn, you may never know, man. In this role, you may never know. Let's get back. Hippoly texted me saying about the little SSH competition. He never was doing that for real. He was just doing that to keep y'all amped up, bro. This man, and it's like, this man know how to manipulate y'all and y'all y'all still just fall for the bait anyway. Good. I been wanted to say something, but I had a deep thinking and research, cause you know I'm not gonna really say that, but um, uh, but mo I have to say a maj majority of his videos are fake and scripted. I never got money for the challenges. A lot of his yeah, I heard for y'all For the most part, a lot of his fans mess with me. They be like, I'm funny as hell. Uh, more videos, but it's like I had a time. Like, bro, me and him don't talk no more. After that, after that uh, SSH initiation video, I was done. Like I just said, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm kicking it with these boys, and I'm not like really benefiting them. I was just better, you know, by myself. Uh, like a couple months later down the road, Malik texted me. I'm not. This, 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 this is a true story. This is why y'all saw me in the Among Us video. Okay, so Malik texted me saying, oh, um, he want to do a video with me told him no because i said no bro i'm straight like because i said i don't yeah i don't really mess with Fredo, and i know you be with him so like i'm just cool like off y'all boys i you know do my own stuff he was like he said oh I don't, he said i don't know what happened between y'all two they ain't really got nothing to do with him all this other stuff uh he said how he gonna put he gonna shout out my youtube video he was gonna pay me we did go to miami we did the video but he never posted it what? Keep in mind, now, this was, he texted me right before I was going to release this video. So, you know, I had my girl. I was like, the sun about this ain't right. 
He said something was wrong with the mic. I feel like that's cap. I feel like, but we tried to like set a little smoke screen to like. So I won't have to drop the video again, like make me think like, oh, he's straight type stuff. And he didn't tell me, he didn't tell me, uh, he didn't tell me he was linking to Alfredo until like 11 at night after we got done with the video. There's money off me, me. The other members too. I mean, I don't, I'm, all the keys bar, he made money off them boys too. I didn't get nothing. Nothing. At least let me keep the Air Max, but you take them back. No. It's the thing though, I wasn't even finna be on no, no, like no lame stuff. I was just finna build my fan base, you know, from kicking it with these boys. I'm thinking like, my career ahead of me, like I got, like I'm straight, like, boom, but did you know, it did just start happening and I just started seeing stuff and I took myself out in the picture. Now look what happened. But, um, uh, yeah. And it's like, he be, like, I don't know, it's like he tried to make it seem like he was making my life better than what it was. Like, he was just doing me a big favor, like, no, you were not, bro. I mean, but, I'm gonna be honest, I ain't really got, I mean, I'm just telling, I mean, Mikey, damn near told, said everything, you feel me? Yeah, after the day, after this, this. Like this, this video it went it went on the shade room, complex sneakers, all these like big platform pages with the blue checks reposting me. I'm like, I ain't even kind of like feel right, cause it's like it's like getting for something like that's not even like fully true. I mean, yeah, I got bullied, but that was in the past. It's like I wasn't getting bullied now. The way he made it seem like he had all these people under the impression that like. Like, he got all these people under the impression that he just did, like, he, like, he taking care of me, looking out for me, like, no. I even texted him, I told him, I was like, bro, I feel like, basically telling him, like, how I feel like you being fake and stuff like that. And he's like, bro, I was willing, I was willing to, like, drop, like, drop, drop how I was feeling by him and willing, willing to sit down and talk this out with, bro. But he ain't take me back, so that let me know. Like, he ain't respond, so that just kind of, like, let me know it is what it is. I was getting bad to the point where I didn't even post on Instagram no more. Like, posting my skits and stuff. I just, like, to the point where I, I, I completely went ghost on Instagram. Like, I was not posting on social media at all. Like, I'll post, but, like, it would be rare. You know how the internet is. People was pressing me about it, saying what happened. I, I was ignoring it. I'm not going to lie until, uh, I mean, this happened, so... But I'm not gonna lie, like after this video drop, I, I'm I'm done. I don't want to talk about this no more. I'm finna do my own thing, post my own content, and do my own stuff. And these are my words to like you upcoming YouTubers that's like trying to get there. Don't don't be like these other YouTubers out here just being grimy, bro. Just 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 grind, you know. Have a true heart behind it. Have true intentions behind what you're doing dark gonna come to the light it don't matter how long it's gonna come to the light regardless and i mean i guess it's coming to come to the light no i was quiet about this i was quiet about this too long like i did post it but then i deleted it because you know i thought about the repercussions behind that but um yeah i mean if you choose not to support me after this i mean it is what it is people people gonna pick it too bro I mean, it is, but, um, yeah. Got a blast. So that's the end of the video. Damn. Oh, man. SSS me. Shady Savage Hoopers, huh? SSH. Like I said, I said, fuck with SSH, but if y'all be doing some shady shit like this, shit don't look too good, you know what I'm saying? But thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, share. I'm out.